Social pedagogy in Poland is all about people, people of any age, people and their potential, their resources and their positive social relations. Primarily, it is about social inclusion, about building social capital and strengthening social environments. Secondly, it aims to address social issues by identifying and organizing individual and social forces. Social pedagogy is a discipline in action, with critical and comparative approaches, drawing tools and methodologies from other social science disciplines. Social pedagogy in Poland is a strong academic discipline with a long historic tradition influenced primarily by German, French and Russian philosophers. The most prominent figure in Polish social pedagogy is its founder, Helena Radlinska. During her lifetime, Poland was still divided under the partitions, ripped apart by powerful neighbours for over a hundred years. Here she looks like an old, frail lady. But she was a firebrand. An activist who fought fearlessly for the independence of Poland, for women's rights and for the ideals of equality. She was a Polish suffragette, a freedom fighter. This craving for freedom put her in direct conflict with the communist regime after the war. She was oppressed and marginalized. These experiences are very similar to that of her contemporary, Maria Grzegorzewska, who may also be viewed as a feminist, fighting for freedom, for women's rights, and the rights of people with special educational needs. Social education was the means chosen by these two and many other women of science at the beginning of the 20th century in an effort to drive social change and to ensure social inclusion. And of course, we must not forget Janusz Korczak. Grzegorzewska and Radlinska knew him in person and often collaborated and exchanged their passionate, powerful thoughts on education and emancipation. Korczak was a man well ahead of his time who dedicated his life to children, to their upbringing and to caring for them. His revolutionary ideas about children in society bridged both the ethnic and national divisions of the time. In 2004, the UNESCO Janusz Korczak Chair in Social Pedagogy was established at the Maria Grzegorzewska University in Warsaw, the city of Korczak. The chair exists to pursue the issues of social inclusion, human and children's rights, child protection and early intervention in challenging environments. Janusz Korczak was a medical doctor, a journalist, children's book writer, philanthropist and children's rights advocate who is known mainly for his pedagogical heritage, his activities as founder and a head of boarding schools for orphans and of course his martyrdom during the Holocaust. The university is also a hub of Maria Grzegorzewska's heritage, oriented towards the inclusion of people with special educational needs and with physical disabilities. She was the first lecturer in Poland who organised special training for teachers who were to work with SEN children and adults. Her institute was formed in 1922 and has been transformed into the Maria Grzegorzewska University. Returning to Helena Radlinska, often quoted for her term social forces, she is considered the founder of social pedagogy in Poland as an academic discipline and also as a profession. Her research work and professional ambitions were focused on access. Access to education, to medical care, to neonatal care, access to information about health, hygiene and nutrition and she advocated for equal rights for all children, despite their socio-economic background. Her most famous saying is that it is an obligation of social pedagogues to change social environments using people's force in the name of ideals. She strongly believed in the power of people, their passions, their charisma and their drive Maria Grzegorzewska University has hosted multiple seminars and conferences with some of the icons of social pedagogy in Poland. Amongst many others, we have welcomed Professor Tadeusz Pilch, the founder of the Social Pedagogy Quarterly Journal. Professor 
Eva Marinovich Hetka, who introduced many important philosophical and social work scriptures available in French into Polish sociopedagogical discourses. We are very proud to have many renowned professors working at our university. Of particular interest to social pedagogy are Professor Barbara smolinska Tice, an expert on Korczak's pedagogy, and Professor Wiesław Tais, who is currently the editor of the Social Pedagogy Quarterly Journal. Social pedagogy is all about people, and this is why we want to share a few more facts about this discipline in Poland and the people who have shaped it in the last few decades. There is an academic network of over 250 social pedagogues that form the Social Pedagogy Committee at the Polish Academy of Sciences. The network includes several chairs in social pedagogy called cathedrals, run by 10 professors. There are also about 45 associate professors, 150 doctors and multiple doctoral candidates. The discipline is alive and growing. Social pedagogy is very well grounded academically and included as a course or a module in multiple social science bachelor and master's programs. Social pedagogy in Poland is also a vocation, a profession, that allows its graduates to work with a cross-section of people, with children, adults and the elderly. Social pedagogues provide individual and group care, practical support, educational support, activism and revitalization. A good example of social pedagogy in action is the Centre of Local Activity CAL, CAL, based in Praga district of Warsaw. The CAL Centre is a hub for local activism, information and education. It hosts multiple multicultural projects. Projects for mothers, parents, children of all ages, the unemployed, retirees and people who need social, economic or emotional support. Any kind of people, really. As we said at the beginning, social pedagogy is all about people, building trusting relations and social capital to inspire social forces to work together to improve the lives of all people.